Today I'm going to try and refurbish my brake calipers. Um, they're pretty damn worn. They look a little bit shabby. And if I do them red, we all know red adds about 50 horsepower. Yeah. Um, but let me just show you what they look like today. They look pretty ropey. All of the uh, all the lacquer's peeling off. Um, the rear is a lot worse. This has got the lettering coming off the lacquer. It looks really ropey. So uh, I've never done this to calipers before. I would usually uh, try and get it done properly, you know, and get the calipers off fully, send them off, strip them down, send them off for powder coat. But to be honest, I just want a quick fix, make it look a little bit prettier. Uh, the car's got some other cosmetic issues anyway, which you may see. Um, so yeah, I'll just try and show you some of the process where I can of how I'm doing it, what sort of tools and equipment I'm using. Hopefully it helps one of you out who maybe wants to do the same thing. I'm going to be starting at the, the front wheel. So I need to loosen the nuts off before I jack it up first, obviously. Strong. Manly. Oh, I can tell I go to the gym. Oh, yeah. Okay, what I've done is jacked up the the car at the rear jacking point. And then put an extra stand on the front just to keep it supported. And then on the other side, just got a couple of wheel chocks. Using uh, the only thing that the sun's worthy of for uh, masking up the car and all the components. Uh, brake cleaning, so we're gonna have to prep the head out of this, clean it for, ooh. Ghosts. Um, I've got some little Porsche stickers for the calipers, 77 millimeters. It's the correct size. Cup of tea is optional, but I recommend. Um, this is from Amazon, uh, I believe. Some uh, varied grades of sandpaper. So we've got all the way from 120 all the way to what's this? 5,000. So super smooth. And then we'll be able to to get a load of the old stuff off so for actual paint i've got a uh, high coat caliper red caliper paint uh, it definitely adds 50 more horsepower i checked online uh clear, clear lacquer um everywhere else said not to bother using any form of primer uh, apparently that's not great for the heat don't know how reliable that is but time will tell um my gut feeling is I'll probably need to powder coat these properly at some stage. This is just making it look a little bit nicer for now. So I'm going to get the wheels off and um, show you what how bad they are now. No fancy bloody guns and that here. Okay, so I've very recently just had new rotors and uh, pads fitted. But as you can see, these old calipers are pretty ropey. And then when we go to these ones, got it all coming off, look. So, oh, let's give them a clean down first. And then we'll sand the hell out of them. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just sanding up, sanding them down. I've started off with uh, 240 grit, something really rough, just to get all the old stuff off.
and then we'll go in with something final after. Right, so I've been rubbing down the calipers with a mix of 600 for finer and then when I'm getting really aggressive, 240 just to really get it smooth, then go over with the finer. Um, got into all the nooks and crannies possible, uh, taped off all the areas I don't want paint, i.e. pads, components, disc, everything. Cover the car up just in case of any overspray. And I've got the paint here, I've just been shaking it for a while and I'm going to start to spray it on. I'm going to do a very, very light base coat first. Here goes nothing. Right, we don't really want much more than that we need a nice base coat so I'll let that dry off it's a nice warm day so it should dry fairly quick and uh, then once that's dried we can start slowly building up those layers and get that to a really nice gloss finish right another coat build up some nice amount of colour there now. Just gonna keep doing this and be patient, let it dry now. So I'm just at the stage where I'm on about my third coat. So there's still some bits that got a bit of gaps in. I managed to get a run in the paint here, which was stupid of me. I'm just uh, getting the old heat gun out and just giving it a bit of warmth to help dry it off. Been doing that for a while now and I've, I've started to uh, uh, sand down and clean the other one. The final coat, I think it'll be the final coat anyway. Right, I'm going to try and put these Porsche decals on. So they should look like that. Right.
cool. That looks really good actually. Uh, get, get my lacquer. I'm going to start going over it. So I did three coats of lacquer and this is now the finished product after everything nice and glossy. And I've taken all the masking tape off now so you can see. Really, really pleased with that, really popped. Okay, I moved on to the rear, same process again. Uh, just doing plenty of coats. The front now is looking really nice behind the wheel there. Very nice, very pleased with the result.